Shalom to you, my dear sisters and brothers. I have another word just for you. Some of you, these are words of confirmation of how things have been unveiling themselves in your life. Some of you, you just need to ask God for the spirit of discernment because there are things that have been happening in your life from day one up to now. But up to now, you have not yet discovered, you have not yet seen that there's something amiss. There is something wrong. The word for today is they pretend to love you, but they do this behind your back. A lot of people around you pretend to love you. If you really uh, had the ability to know what is in the hearts of men and women, you will know that those that laugh and smile with you, they don't really mean it. Those that talk on you to you on a daily basis, they don't really mean it. Some of them actually are interested in your position. That is all they are interested in. Some of them are interested in your money. They know you have some money. They know you have some something in you. You have value. They know you have some influence. A lot of people don't know that you are influential. You may not know. Some of them are interested in what you have in you. Bible says it clear that we have this treasure in earthen vessels. There is treasure in you. There is so much treasure in you that some of you have not yet discovered. That if one day you wake up and you know what you have, you will not live a life as though you are defeated. You will start living a victorious life. A story is told about Samson and Delilah. Of how Samson loved this lady called Delilah. She was an enemy. But Samson thought it was good to fall in love with an enemy. Now, one day, the Philistines approach Delilah and they pay her money. They are bring to her a sum of an, an amount of money that she, was, she cannot reject. And the price was to betray Samson. So Delilah plays with it. She accepts the money. She has, accepts whatever promise she's given to by the Philistines. And when Samson went to sleep, Delilah would uh, speak to her softly. Asking for the secret of his, uh, of his strength. Of course, Samson, for many occasions, Samson would lie. But the time came when Samson gave up the, the, the secret. That the secret was in his hair. And, Sam, and Delilah cut off Samson's hair. Notice that from day one, Delilah made it um, clear of her goal, of her intentions. She's the type of enemies that speak something as though it's a joke and it is the truth. Some of you have, you have encountered those enemies. They speak as though they are joking and yet they mean it. Some of them speak while smiling. They look into your face. But their uh, plans about you are diabolic. Watch out for that, those enemies. Watch out for those kind of people. Some of them have uh, uh, assumed the name. That it, it's called frenemies. Meaning, they are friends who are enemies. What kind of name is that? Frenemies. The world has given them a name. Those are frenemies. I'll give you another example. Joseph. Very powerful man of God. Anointed man of God, no doubt, he was a dreamer. The first dream he had was his sheath was standing upright and his brother's sheath were bowing down at, at him. His brothers hated him. They hated him for that. Another dream is was the moon, the stars were around his, his, were around him. And the brothers hated him. They even said, would you become ruler over us? A time reached when they saw him. They said, there comes a dreamer. So they plotted to destroy him. They wanted to kill the dreamer so that the dreams die with him. Some of you, the people around you, they just pretend. But their main goal is to kill you. But glory to God. The Lord promoted David. I mean, the Lord, Lord promoted 
uh, Jonathan, uh, the Lord promoted uh, Joseph. <laughs> Not Jonathan. The Lord promoted Joseph. And his brothers came back to him. And when he looked at them, he said, You meant evil for me, but God meant it for good. In fact, the brothers could not even recognize him. But Joseph recognized, it, recognized the brothers. Joseph had grown up in the, the ways of the Egyptians. To an extent that he looked like them. They couldn't recognize him. Even his speech, his accent probably had, had changed. Your enemies, a time is coming when your enemies, those that stole from you, those that wish to death will not recognize you, but you will recognize them. You'll be able to pinpoint them. Some of you have met people that said wrong about you. They said you will never make it. Some of them actually were even relatives. They cannot recognize you, but you recognize them. You recognize them. Bible says it clear. Show me a sign of your goodness that my enemies may see and be put to shame. When God shows you a sign of his goodness, your enemies will see it. And when they see it, they be put to shame. Total shame. Some of them were expected you to die early. Some of them never expected you to get that marriage. Some of, some of you actually divorced. And your enemies said it was the end of you. You will never get back married. But I want to encourage you. I decree and declare that you will get married. I decree and declare that you will find peace. I decree and declare that you will have your first house. No more renting. You will have that first car. You will have that first job. You will be your own boss. But brothers and sisters, I hope this word has blessed you. I hope it has encouraged you. I encourage you to keep on praying. And also, if this ministry has been a blessing to you and you want to be a blessing to this ministry through your giving, you can do so through my PayPal account, which is in the About section. If you need prayer, if you need guidance, if you need counseling, if you need direction, uh, send me your messages through my uh, WhatsApp group, my WhatsApp page, which is in um, the About section. I'm thinking of... Uh, even opening up a WhatsApp group where believers can share their testimonies, um, where people can um, pray for one another. I'm thinking about that WhatsApp group where we have an admin who uh, prayers are sent in and people pray for others. People pray for others. People encourage others. People share their testimony. I'm just thinking about it. Brothers and sisters, until next time, shalom.